Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Oblong Polka Dots and my name is Kerr. And on this channel, we talk about makeup, skincare, and beauty. So if that's something you're into, you've come to the right place. I am wearing, just really quick, <laughs> trying to get my thoughts together, you guys. I'm wearing the Pat McGrath Labs, um, the little, this one, the little mini palette in the shade, not wearing my glasses, in the shade Midnight Voyage. So that's what I have on my eyes today. And on my lips is a Gucci lipstick and I can't remember which one. Um, let's haul it. So I have... Yeah, okay. I have three things here. And the first is a bag from Target. I know this is just going to be one of those kind of hauls where I just show you a little bit of everything, but I wanted to be able to clear out all this stuff in that corner because I've had stuff sitting there forever. Um, the previous video to this one is all the stuff I had sitting there from Ulta. And then I think some stuff from Yes Style. All right. <laughs> so I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show this to you, but I picked up a little belt from Target. This is what it looks like. It's a belt. I like the buckle and I like the color. So thought that was fun. I don't even know where to put that. Okay. I'll just throw it on the floor. <laughs> like, I needed a replacement belt for the, oops, for one of the black belts that I have. The one that I have with the silver buckle that I'm actually wearing right now that you can't see. And the reason I need a replacement is because if you guys have been following me, um, I've dropped like more than 25 pounds. So I needed to get a new belt because the ones that I have are not, they're too big. Um, next, if you've been following me, and I'm going to take all this stuff out so I'm not making a ton of racket. Yeah, that's all of it. If you've been following me in all of my declutter videos, I'm turning over my collection, meaning that I'm taking all of the stuff in my collection I don't reach for anymore, doesn't work for my skin anymore, um, is old or expired or whatever. And I'm getting rid of a whole ton of stuff. I've thrown so much stuff away. And I've also sent um, a few boxes for donation to a charity. So that means brushes and tools and other things too. So because I do feel like I change my brushes out fairly frequently, I decided to grab my, um, to grab some elf brushes taking me forever to sort these. Sorry, they were all in the bag. So I only bought two different kinds of brushes. I grabbed the eyeshadow, just the flat ones, the 1815s, if you can see that. And then that's what this little pile is here in my hand. I also grabbed the 1803s, which are just the blending brushes. And I grabbed a little pile of those as well. So I really, really like these brushes a lot. And I feel like these will be a good replacement for when my, um, which ones are these? When my Coastal Scents brushes finally bite the dust, because I've had these for a long time, as you can imagine, since Coastal Scents went out of business quite a while ago. Um, I did try to use the, let me grab them. Hold on. I did try to use the Wet n Wild brushes as replacements, but I feel like the Wet n Wild isn't as like a high quality as the e.l.f. brushes. So, you know, I'm getting rid of the Wet n Wild brushes kind of as I go along and I'll throw in the e.l.f. brushes after that. That was a lot. <laughs> I feel like I said a lot of things, but it could have been like one sentence, kind of like a meeting that could be an email. I also picked up these other two items from e.l.f., which I've used these before um, over t over the years, and they are the eyeliner pens. I grabbed it in black and coffee. So these. I like these little pens. They're nice, but they do dry out relatively quickly. So I'm glad that they're not very expensive, but, you know, they do dry out a little bit quickly. The one that I have in rotation right now is from e.l.f. as well. And it's the H2O proof eyeliner pen. I really like this one too. So 
Elf makes good products, you guys. Don't sleep on Elf. Just because they're, you know, an affordable brand doesn't mean that they're not, like, high quality. Just got to try it out. I needed a pair of eyelash curlers that are not the same as the pair that I have right now. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I have the... Which ones are these? I believe I have the... Japanese eyelash curler this one you can see what that looks like which is great right but not necessarily great all the time I tend to grab for this when I put on my false lashes so I use this because it's so like it's just a little area at a time so you can really get in there and like crimp the lashes down onto your lashes like after you glue them on like really crimp them in so they don't budge for the day. Um, but when I just want to do like, you know, regular, just to curl my own lashes, I needed an actual just regular eyelash curler. So I grabbed that. And then also, let's set this to the side. I'm just being awkward right now. <laughs> also, I finally, if you guys watch um, Andrea Renee here on YouTube, I have been a fan of hers forever. I've followed her for years. She is constantly talking about these Sonia Kashuk makeup blender uh, sponges. And she uses them probably in every video where she does any makeup, which is most videos. So I finally decided to grab this little duo here and see if I like it as much as she does. I think it was $7 for the two. So... All right, what's next? I have a bag here from Elf. <laughs> and I talked about this also in the video that comes before this one. So let me pull everything out and I'll show you what I got. Boy, Elf is really seeing a lot of my paycheck these days, isn't it? All right, so the first thing that I grabbed was this brand new liquid poreless putty primer. This is a new product. I needed another primer. Like I needed a hole in the head. <laughs> I have enough primers and setting powders and setting sprays to last me for the rest of my life. And yet here we are. So you will see this in an upcoming video because I'm actually going to set this on my table to reach for. And I also picked up and look at how they package everything. Isn't this nice? Like, you know, nothing is going to break. These should all, I believe, be the exact same type of product. So let me try and get them out of here. How did they do this? How? Oh my gosh. I mean, I appreciate it. I do. Let's, uh, let's see. We have four of these. Let's do it together, you guys. <laughs> Come on. Again, I, I appreciate that they're so careful with the packaging. You know who else is really good at sending products where I really don't have any trouble um, with them breaking or anything like that is Natasha Denona. I think that they pack their eyeshadow palettes so well. They use this kind of corrugated cardboard and it's got this kind of accordion effect. So it keeps, I don't know, there's got to be some kind of aerodynamic or some kind of physics behind it because it keeps everything from probably jostling or moving around in general. And if it does move around, it probably takes up enough shock that it doesn't actually affect the product on the interior. And you know, there's your lesson on physics and packaging and aerodynamics, right? All right. So <laughs> way more than you asked for, I'm sure. Um, I grabbed the four remaining Elf O-Face Satin Lipsticks that I wanted to add to my collection. I really like this formula. The other ones are sitting right up here. They are lined up right here. And yeah, I love this formula. These are replacing all of my MAC lipsticks. Yes, that's exactly what I said. Let it marinate. Let it marinate. Yes. These are replacing all of my MAC lipsticks. So that's kind of a clue as the next part of my, um, declutter. I have another drawer to go and the MAC lipsticks are in there and you know, they're all going to go. So let me tell you what I got. I grabbed do not disturb and you know how their packaging is. You got to go in here to the top and you got to do a little flip and then you got to go in here and like pull the little thing out 
and then you got to shake it down. I mean, oh my gosh, Elf doing the most. But anyways, the packaging is beautiful. Let me tell you why. This feels very similar to the texture of the NARS packaging, but check this out. Ah, I love it. It's magnetic. Tell me that it's not luxurious, you guys. I love it. So the shade that's in my hand is Do Not Disturb. And it's a beautiful brown red. I These are the lipsticks that I keep bringing to work aside from like the Gucci and the Dior. These ones are in heavy rotation because they all wear beautifully and they're comfortable. And I really don't have to fiddle with them much. I mean, I really just reapply after I've been drinking a lot of water. I mean, I drink a lot of water throughout the day, but if I've been drinking like a lot, a lot of water or I reapply after I've eaten something. So this one is called Untamed, which is right up my alley. It's a wine. It's like a, a Merlot. This is such a pretty color. I've had 10 million lipsticks that are that color, and now I have 10 million and one. And then this one is called, let's see, this one is called Spicy. Yeah. There you go. That is spicy. And the last one I grabbed is called Loud AF. We all know what the AF stands for. <laughs> ah, oh my God. I just threw it across the... Hold on. Don't go nowhere. I'm sure it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> and that is loud AF. It's a pretty kind of like pinky color. And I like pink. So I like pink a lot. I'm sure you guys know that. If you've been following my channel, you know that I like pink. Um, the next bag I have here is from... Oh! It's from Natasha Denona. It came in a different package this time because when they sent it to me, it was, um, what do you call it? They gave, they gave me two day shipping and I haven't had that before. So I was like, what is this when it arrived? Okay. So if I'm not mistaken, there should be two palettes in here and this should finally complete my Natasha Denona collection. Ooh, so exciting. And these palettes are going to be replacing a number of palettes in my collection because I'm really trying to start paring it down and curating and all that other fun stuff, as mentioned previously. So the first one here is the Love palette. Love. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so goofy, you guys. You're catching me in the afternoon. I normally film in the morning when it's like five o'clock or whatever. So you typically get me when I'm chill. I'm struggling to open this. Let's just do this. You know, when I have trouble opening these boxes, I don't know if I got, I showed you guys this before, but what I'll do is I'll grab my tweezers and we're going to struggle here because I have to leave the window open because it's hot. Anyways, I take my tweezers and I pop them in between and then I just roll it up so I can get the palette out or whatever's in there. And here we are. Very pretty. Oh, it's got the holes in the back. You know what I mean? So you can like pop out the colors and mix and match. What do they call that? Dynamic or something like that. Anyways, this is what the palette looks like. No surprise there. Lots of pinks and purples. And can't wait to use this. Those are all in my wheelhouse. Pinks, purples, um, wines, berries, browns, tans, creams. And then the other one I grabbed is the Lila. Lila, like on Futurama. If you watch Futurama, we can be friends. I've watched all the episodes 10 million times. Oh, I hope nothing broke because I can already see that there's shadow here. This is one of those um, vinyl that's that vinyl packaging, like the 
what's the one called? The bronze something, the bronze one comes in, like that one. All right, let's see. Oh, nothing broke. That's good. And this is the Lila palette. Also very purple and pink heavy, right? No surprise there, love it. The difference with this one though, is that the description of the product is on this piece of plastic, like the description of the shadow. And I can tell you, as sure as we're sitting here, I'm probably going to end up ripping that out and losing it because it just looks silly to me. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I've wanted this palette for quite some time. But the reason I did not purchase it is because I did not want to pay full price for it. And I waited and waited and waited. And it finally went on sale. And the same is true for the Love palette, although I did not wait for that one nearly as long. But both of them went on sale, which is why I purchased them. And that rounds out my Natasha Denona collection. You will see these palettes in future videos. I will share looks with you then. That's it, you guys. That is the haul. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.